What's going on folks, there's nothing better to do. I'm Blogzilla and you're watching $50 First Dates, the show where I hook up a handsome young gentleman with a beautiful young lady, give him a $50 budget and tell him to have the time of your life. Today I have my guy Pete with me. Pete is normally a big spender, but you have $50 to impress this beautiful young lady inside. Are you excited? Yeah, All easy. Right. Here's the stipulations. You can't let her know your budget. You're gonna get a text message from one of my celebrity friends, and if you if you, things go right, I'm gonna send the bill for you back on a date. All expenses paid. You ready? I'm ready, let's get it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Pete. I'm Nene. Pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure too. My first impression is she's really good looking. I walked in and I'm like, oh, okay. So what do you do? Oh, I have a web show. Web okay. Show okay. What's the name of it? TheNiniShow.com. Okay. Okay. What does it cover? Um, I interview up and coming artists, personalities. So, he's not really my type, but we do connect on a more, a, a different level, more like a career field type thing. He's into photography, I'm into my web show, so we have a lot of things in common. You're running your own business, running through payments and everything else through my phone, so I look at my phone. You have to constantly check it all the time. Yeah, so much constant, like, but enough where you're not missing a beat. How'd you hear about this place? A friend of mine recommended it. Uh, I've walked past a few times, uh, looked in a window, and it looked like it was good, so. It's so cute in here. I like the colors, I like the vibe. It's got wood on the walls. It's very nice. He takes me to Chevy's to pick up free tickets. Hold on, don't want to be rude. See, but remember we talked about this with the phone thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, yo, you know the face, you know the name. It's the one and only Zoe Dollars, Mr. Blow a Check. And your task right now on this date, make sure she gets something off the happy hour menu. Okay. We're back. Like it never happened. So you went to Sherry's to pay me free tickets. Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, good. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Welcome to Angel of Harlem. I'm going to be your server today. My name is Shauna. What can I start you guys off with to drink? Uh, we'll ladies first. Hi, Shauna. Um, can I please have a honey and coke? Honey and coke. And I'll take it old fashioned. So, you know I had to order a honey and coke because that's my favorite drink. You guys want to have an appetizer or you're going to go straight to on train? Uh, I'm actually going to be fine with the drink for now. Okay. I didn't want to run into the whole, like, Okay, this is tipping me a dollar over. It's $56, $51. I have a honey and a Thank you. You're welcome, and I have a fashion. Okay. You guys uh, know what you want to have, or you need a little bit more time? You probably need a little bit more time. Okay. I'm here. It, is it happy hour? Yes, it is happy hour. Yeah, so these are, these are only happy hours. <laughs> no. No, no. They're not? No. Ow. Sorry. No, because my friend said the happy hour was really good, so you know. It is. We would have loved it if it was on happy hour. Yeah. yeah. I, what do you mean? I mean, I'm not trying to cheat them. I'm just saying. I got a little bit nervous because she didn't know about the budget. I knew, and I think I mentioned happy hour a little bit too much. Any of this on happy hour? Uh, we love happy hour. <laughs> Since he kept mentioning happy hour, I was maybe he don't got all the money or. But you know, it's cool because I like happy hour too. Like. That's fine with me, but not for a first date. What are you having? Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to move with her. So just, we just so do it all. Because I'm, yeah, I'm not really. But I really, I really want dessert. So what would you recommend? When she ordered dessert, I panicked. I'm like, oh my God, why does she want dessert? Like, and then I'm looking at the price and trying not to seem obvious. Oh, Coconut that's... caramel sauce, that sounds like me. And the thing about the $50 was, I knew that I could maneuver with the happy hour situation. I'm talking about happy hour. She's asking for dessert at happy hour. Like, what are you even doing? This is happy hour. It's about the drinks, it's about the chicken, and it's about going home. Here's Walker for the two wings. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. This really smells good. Ah, move over, move over, move over, move over. <laughs> my brother, my brother, you have failed miserably in this challenge. So he had a challenge. He could only spend $50. And he's went over by $4. That's not even including <laughs> tip. My man. Oh. You knew you had, you knew what the situation was. That's why you were. kept pushing it. I kept pushing the happy hour. She was not listening to the happy yeah. hour. You kept, well, don't, don't order dessert at happy hour. It's offensive, okay? Let's talk about that. I just wanted some churros. My general opinion 
is a $50 date in New York City is impossible. It's actually a fact. If you're gonna be eating, drinking a main course and having a dessert, you're gonna need at least 100, usually $150 to even get anything done at the end of the night to not be worried. Honestly, I would rate the date a three out of 10 because he kept asking about the happy hour and you know, I wasn't really feeling that. Um, we could be friends. $50 dates will get you friend zone quick. There you have it. It's impossible. This is impossible in New York City. That's our show, folks. Join us next week when we arm wrestle butterflies and go on more dates. It's your boy, Blogzilla. We out.